Hi, for this video what I want to do is show you how to find the measure of each interior angle for a quadrilateral. So in order to find the interior angles, what you have to remember is that the sum of all of the angles is always going to be 360 degrees, and that's because you can form two triangles with a quadrilateral and a triangle. The sum is always equal to 180 degrees. Um, so with this, my pictures are not drawn to scale. It is very hard for me sometimes to be able to draw a straight line with this, so don't judge too harshly. Um, but with this, as you're going through, what's going to happen is remember that these little boxes here mean that those are 90 degrees. So we would just go through all of our angles and we would set them up and we would say that 4x plus 7 plus 3x minus 2 plus my two 90 degree angles. And I could just put 180, but not to skip a step. I want to show you where those came from. So remember that these are 90. And those all together would equal 360 degrees. So in order to find each angle individually, we first have to start by finding our x value. So if we add these up, our like terms 4x plus 3x is 7x. And then if we add our constant term, 7 minus 2 would give me 5, plus the 180 that we have here would give me 185. And this is going to give us 360. After we, um, so our next step would get, would be to get the 185 to the other side. So the opposite of adding is subtracting. And we would end up with 7x is equal to 175 degrees. And then our final step in solving for x is to divide by seven, and we would say that x is equal to 25 degrees. Okay, but that's not what it asked for. It did ask for each individual angle measure, so you do have to remember, I know that when I was teaching geometry, I had a lot of students that would get to this spot and they're like, oh, I've got x, I'm done, and they would move on to the next problem. But for this one, we wanna know what is the measure of each angle individually. Okay, so for this, what we would have to do is we would have to go in and plug in our values. So to find angle A, we would take and do 4 times 25 plus 7. And so we could say that angle A ends up being 100 plus 7, which is 107 degrees. So that's our first answer. Our next angle for angle B we would have to take and plug in 25 into our second equation. So we would do 3 times 25 minus 2, which angle B ends up giving us 75 minus 2 is 73 degrees. And we know that angle C is equal to angle D because they're both right angles, and that equals 90. So this part right here gives me 180, and we can see that 73 and 107 also gives me 180. So we can see clearly that this does add up to be 360 degrees. So let's look at another one. And if you want to, to make sure that you understand the concept, you can pause the video, try this one on your own, see if you get the concept, and then just come back and watch when you're finished. Okay. Um, so with this one, let's go ahead and set it up. We would say that 3x plus 2 plus 2x plus 6x plus 5x minus 10. All of this does have to, have to add to give us 360 degrees. And so then we would add all of our variable terms first. Okay, so 3 plus 2 would give me 5, 5 plus 5 is 10, and um, 10 plus 6 would give me 16x. Then we would add our constant term, so I would take the positive 2 minus 10, which would give us negative 8, and this equals 360 degrees. So our next step would be to add the 8 to both sides, and I show every step. A lot of these you can do in your head. You don't have to show every single step, but in order for you to see what I'm doing, I do want to make sure that I show every step. Okay, and then our final step would just be to divide both sides by 16. And x goes into there 23 times. Okay, and again, a lot of students, when I was teaching geometry, they're like, I got x, I'm done. They were used to algebra, and they were like, yes, I have the answer, and forgot to go back and find every single individual angle. So let's find all of our individual angles. So we would start with angle E, and we would just do 2 times 23 which ends up giving us 46 degrees. So angle E is 46 degrees. Angle F, we would take and plug in 5 times 23 
minus 10. This ends up giving us 115. Minus 10 gives us 105 degrees. Okay, and for the next one, sorry, I lost place on my paper. Angle H is equal to 3 times 23 plus 2. And I don't know why I skipped G. I just did, because that's what I had done on my paper next. Okay, this ends up giving us 71 degrees, because 3 times 23 would give us 69, plus 2 is 71. And then our final angle, angle G, is going to be 6 times 23, which ends up being 138 degrees. Okay, so just to recap, remember that any time that you were trying to find the measure of each angle of a quadrilateral, you would find the sum of all the angles and set it equal to 360, solve for your variable, and then go back and plug it in. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.